Om Shanti. This is the Sakar Merli of the 30th of November 2023. Essence Sweet children, you have to become spiritual guides and go on this pilgrimage to enable others to go on it. This remembrance is your pilgrimage. Continue to have remembrance and your mercury of happiness will rise. Question. Which sanskars disappear and which sanskars remain as soon as you go to the incorporeal world? Answer. There the sanskars of knowledge disappear and only the sanskars of the reward will remain. It is on the basis of these sanskars that you experience your reward in the golden age. The sanskars of studying and making effort do not remain there. Once you receive your reward, this knowledge ends. Song O traveller of the night, do not become weary. The destination of dawn is not far off. Om Shanti Here God Shiva speaks to you personally. It says in the Gita that God Sri Krishna speaks. However, Sri Krishna cannot personally appear in front of you with that same name and form. It is incorporeal God who speaks and he speaks to you personally. If they say Shri Krishna speaks, it is as though they are referring to a corporeal being. Those who relate the Vedas and scriptures would never say God speaks because those sages, holy men and mahatmas etc. are all corporeal. The father says, O spiritual travellers, the spiritual father would surely say to souls, Children, don't become weary. Some become weary while on a pilgrimage and so they turn back. Those are physical pilgrimages. They visit many different temples while going on a physical pilgrimage. Some visit the Shiva temple where all the physical images of the path of devotion are kept. That Supreme Spirit, the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul gives you this knowledge and says to you souls, O oh, children, connect your intellects in yoga to me alone. When people go on those pilgrimages, there are Brahmin priests sitting there who sing and relate stories from the scriptures to them. However, yours is only the one true story of becoming a true Narayan, that is, of becoming Narayan from an ordinary man. You understand that you will first go to the sweet home and then you will later come down to the land of Vishnu. At this time you are in the land of Brahma. This is called your parents' home. You don't have any jewellery etc. because you are in your parents' home. You understand that you are to receive limitless happiness in your in-laws home. Here in your iron aged in-laws home there is limitless sorrow. You have to go across to that land of happiness. You have to be transferred from here. The father will seat you all in his eyes and take you home. Shri Krishna's father has been portrayed carrying him across the river in a basket. Here the unlimited father takes you children across to your in-laws home. 
First, he will take you to your incorporeal home and later send you to your in-laws home. You will forget all of these aspects of the in-laws home and the parents home. That is your incorporeal parents home. There you will have forgotten this knowledge. The sanskars of knowledge will have disappeared and only the sanskars of your reward will remain. Then the only awareness you children will have will be of your reward. You will go and take a birth of happiness according to your reward. You have to go to the land of happiness. Once you receive your reward, this knowledge finishes. You understand that the same acts of the reward will take place again. Your sanskars will become those of the reward. Your sanskars are now those of making effort. It is not that the sanskars of both effort and reward will remain there, no. This knowledge does not remain there. This is your spiritual pilgrimage and the father is your chief guide. In fact, you also become spiritual guides and take everyone along with you. Those guides are physical whereas you guides are spiritual. They go to Amarnath with great pomp and splendour. Large groups go especially to Amarnath with pomp and splendour. Baba has seen many sages and holy men etc. take musical instruments there. They also take a doctor along with them because the climate there is cold and some fall ill. Your pilgrimage is very easy. The father says, your pilgrimage is one of remembrance. The main thing is remembrance. The mercury of happiness of you children will remain high if you continue to have remembrance. You also have to take others along with you on this pilgrimage. This pilgrimage only takes place once. Those physical pilgrimages begin to take place on the path of devotion, but they don't begin right at the beginning. It is not that the temples and images are made straight away, they are made gradually later on. First, the temple to Shiva will be built. They first build a Somnath temple, image of Shiva, in their homes, so that there is no need to go anywhere. All of those temples, etc., are built later on. It takes a great deal of time because the new scriptures, new pictures, new temples continue to be made very slowly. It takes time because there also has to be those who study the scriptures. It is when the cults etc. increase that the thought arises to create scriptures. It takes time to create so many pilgrimage places so many temples and pictures. Although it is said that the path of devotion begins in the Copper Age, it still takes time. The degrees continue to decrease. Devotion is at first unadulterated and it then becomes adulterated later. The evidence of all of these aspects has been shown very clearly in the pictures. Those who explain should use their intellects on how they should make such pictures to explain these various aspects. These ideas are not in everyone's intellect 
all are number wise. Some are not able to use their intellects for this at all, so they receive a status accordingly. It is understood what they will become. As you go further, you will understand this more. When war takes place, you will see everything practically. You will then repent a great deal. You will not be able to study at that time. At the time of war, there will be cries of distress. You will not be able to listen to them. Who knows what will happen? You saw what happened at the time of partition. The time of destruction is very severe. Yes, you will receive many visions through which you will come to know just how much each one has studied. There will be a great deal of repentance and you will also receive visions. You stopped studying and this is why your condition has become such. How can Dharamraj punish you without first giving you a vision? He will give visions of everything. You will not be able to do anything at that time. You will say, Oh, my destiny. The time for making effort will have ended. Therefore the father says, Why not make effort now? It is by doing service that you will climb onto the father's heart throne. The father would say, This child is doing good service. If a military person dies, his colleagues, friends and relatives are also given an award. Here, it is the unlimited father who gives you the award. You receive the award for your future 21 births from the Father. Each one of you should place your hand on your heart and ask yourself how much you study. If you are unable to imbibe knowledge, it would be said that it is not in your fortune. It would be said that your karma is not so good. Those who have performed a lot of bad actions cannot take in any of this knowledge. The father explains, Sweet children, you also have to take your companions with you on this spiritual pilgrimage. It is your duty to tell everyone about this pilgrimage. Tell them that this pilgrimage of ours is spiritual whereas other pilgrimages are physical. They show a magic lake near Rangoon. It is said that by bathing in it, you can become a fairy. However, no one becomes a fairy. It is a question of bathing in knowledge through which you become an empress of paradise. In fact, you are stopped from repeatedly going into trance as that would become a habit. Therefore, this is the Mansarova of knowledge. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, comes and gives you this knowledge through this human body. This is why it is called Mansarova. The meaning of the word Mansarova comes from the ocean. It is very good to bathe in the ocean of knowledge. The wife of an emperor in paradise is called an empress. The father says, you too become the masters of paradise. There is love for the children. There is mercy for all. There is also mercy for the holy men. It is written in the Gita that God also uplifts the holy men. 
upliftment takes place through knowledge and yoga. You children need to be very alert and active in order to explain to others. Tell them, everything you know is like buttermilk. You do not know the one who gives you the butter. The father explains everything to you very clearly but it all depends on how much of it sits in your intellects. By recognising the Father, human beings become like diamonds. By not knowing him, human beings become like shells and completely impure. By knowing the Father, they become pure. There is no one pure in the impure world. The children who are Maharatis will be able to explain these aspects very well. There are many Brahma Kumars and Kumaris. The name Prajapita Brahma is renowned. You are the mouth-born children of Prajapita Brahma. Brahma has been portrayed with one hundred arms and a thousand arms. It has also been explained that Brahma cannot have that many arms. Brahma has many children. Whose child is Brahma? He too has a father. Brahma is Shiv Baba's child. Who else could be his father? It cannot be a human being. Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar are remembered as residents of the subtle region. They cannot come here. Brahma, the father of people, would surely be here. He cannot create people in the subtle region. Therefore, the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, comes and creates the Shakti army through the mouth of Brahma. You first have to introduce yourselves as the mouth-born children of Brahma. Tell them that they too are the children of Brahma. Prajapita Brahma is the father of all. Later other generations emerge from him and then the names keep changing. You are now Brahmins. You can see how many children Prajapita Brahma has in a practical way. The children must surely receive the inheritance. Brahma does not have any property. It is Shiv Baba who has all the property. Brahma is Shiva's son. You receive your inheritance from the unlimited father. Shiv Baba sits here and teaches you through Brahma. You receive your inheritance from the grandfather. Baba explains a great deal, but you don't have yoga. What can the father do if you do not do things according to the law? The father says, that is your fortune. If you were to ask Baba... Baba could tell you what status you would receive from your present condition. Your heart is the witness to tell you how much service you do and to what extent you follow Srimat. Srimat says, man, man above, continue to give everyone the introduction of the father and the inheritance. Continue to beat these drums. Baba continues to give you a signal that you have to explain to the government so that they too can understand that the strength of Bharat has definitely been lost. There is no yoga with the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, the Almighty Authority. When you have yoga with him, you are able to conquer Maya and thereby become the masters of the world. 
you have to conquer Maya while living at home with your families. The Father is our helper. So much is explained to you, but you have to imbibe it. Baba has explained, Wealth is not reduced by donating it. Only when you do service will you climb onto Baba's heart throne. Otherwise, it is impossible. This does not mean that Baba does not love you. Baba loves the serviceable ones. You have to make effort to make everyone worthy of going on the pilgrimage. Man, man above. This is a spiritual pilgrimage. Remember me and you will come to me. After going to the land of Shiva, you will go to the land of Vishnu. Only you children know these things. Although they study a great deal, none of them understands the meaning of man, man above. The father gives you this great mantra. Remember me and you will become conquerors of sin. Acha. To the sweetest beloved, long lost and now found children, Love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bapdada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence Vedana 1. Bathe in knowledge. Serve others with love and climb onto the Father's heart throne. Do not become careless at this time of making effort. 2. You have to go across this iron aged land of sorrow to the land of happiness by sitting on the Father's eyelids. Therefore, transfer everything you have. Blessing May you be ever happy and experience happiness in the garden of the flowers of divine virtues in your life. To be constantly in a state of happiness means to be full and complete. Previously your life was in a jungle of thorns and you have now come into the happiness of flowers. The flowers of divine virtues are constantly in the garden of your life and so whoever comes into contact with you will continue to receive the fragrance from the flowers of divine virtues and will be happy on seeing this happiness. They will experience power. This happiness makes others powerful and brings them into happiness and this is why you say that you are ever happy. Slogan A master almighty authority is one who plays with the bubbles of Maya instead of being afraid of them. Om Shanti